Right. Hello, everybody. Good evening. I just realized I left the house. Uh, usually when I watch TV, I put my glasses on. <laughs> then I left the house and like, oh no, come all the way to Westminster. Still got my glasses on. So let me know if you like the glasses or not. Okay, I'm going to wait for a few people. Literally within the next 10 seconds, I'm going to start to tell you the update that we've just heard from um, the Tory leadership election. It's not looking good for the right wing of the Tory party. It's a bit of a bad news <coughs> because um, <coughs> earlier today we had the second round of the, the voting and uh, Suella Braverman uh, has uh, lost the election, which is out. And uh, we were kind of waiting to see um, what she and her supporters are going to do. Um, we were saying that there's only one a little bit of hope left. If they back Kemi Badenov, then she will still be in the race and we could actually kind of continue uh, to push for the conservative agenda. But Suella came out and her supporters to back Liz Truss, which is still not too bad. It's not Penny, it's not Rishi Sunak, but um, <coughs> that means that she, Kemi Badenov lost a number of supporters because of that. But we also just heard the last couple of minutes I've been absolutely outside Parliament uh, to get the news go uh, for you guys. The update I have breaking news the ERG the Tory Brexiteers in Parliament hang on it's too loud here the ERG the Tory Brexiteers in Parliament have decided to endorse Liz Truss so this is the end for Kemi Badenoch's leadership campaign essentially uh, and it's a bit it's a bit sad because I'm, obviously I haven't really picked candidates in this race but we needed um, a kind of more conservative leaning candidates to actually uh, push for the agenda of conservatism and um, with Suella Braverman losing and then Suella backing Liz Truss and now the latest news ERG the Brexit MPs uh, endorsing Liz Truss that means Kemi Badenoch is gone um, so she might actually do far we're talking to some um, advisors in um, near the well, outside parliament they're working on saying that Kemi might just basically give up, give in and um, uh, by default support Liz Truss. Um, there were also other rumours that I don't want to talk about because it's like it's not credible. But um, in reality, if there's going to be the situation, we might have to try and see the positive. Because if Suella and Kemi and her and their right wing MP supporters could join Liz Truss and essentially forced Liz Truss to run on a platform of actual conservatism, which is basically what she's trying to say. Liz Truss, in her campaign, the platform is conservative. It's this right wing, despite Liz Truss's background, right? We know, of course. Um, but if, if Suella and Kemi could join in and push Liz Truss to make, to make sure that she actually runs as a conservative, then they can prevent both Penny and Rishi Sunak from becoming Prime Minister. So that is kind of the good news, I guess. But yeah, still the lining, right? If, if we're going to find some sort of positivity in something, it's probably that. Because um, right now, inevitably, the way it looks is that uh, Penny Morden is going to be our Prime Minister. Because uh, uh, with uh, Rishi Sunak being uh, top of the polls with the M MPs and Penny being second, those who go into membership Shrisha Sunak can't really win the membership stage. Uh, so it's all about who's going to come second um, after Rishi Sunak in the parliamentary stage. So it is a bit of a weird system that they whole they created. The Tory party, there were a lot of rumours and gossip about the Tory establishment trying to do stitch up. And it seems like it's all working out anyway for, this, for the establishment. Uh, they're getting the candidates that they wanted. They're getting Rishi Sunak. They're getting Penny Morden. Um, but uh, in reality, if Liz Truss could beat Penny Morden by getting Suella's votes and Kemi's votes, then at least, whilst Liz Truss is not perfect, at least she is not Penny or Rishi, right? Beggars can't be choosers, guys. This is a sad, sad day. But uh, a lot of people have been saying that, well, if it's going to be either Rishi or Penny, then we're going to vote for Reform UK or we're not going to vote at all. So uh, a lot of people are not really too happy about this whole situation. I get it, absolutely get it. But Liz Truss is not really the ideal kind of conservative option. I mean, she, 
I like her free market credentials, right? But that's it. I mean, you kind of need someone who is culturally conservative, someone who can actually fight for the values of our country, protect the borders, sort out the illegal migration and legal mass migration. No one talks about legal migration as well, because that's a big problem as well in terms of the number of people coming in um, and not really contributing to the system. So we have that to deal with. We have the ECHR to deal with. We got the Northern Ireland Protocol. To be fair, with the Northern Ireland Protocol, I'm going to take a gamble and say I will give Liz Truss a bit of a chance, see if she can actually deliver it. But um, definitely not Penny, definitely not Rishi Sinek. I'm going to quickly see what you guys are saying in the live chat, by the way. So, oh, where's it going? There we go. So, live chat. Uh, Apex says, Kemi was the only unpaid candidate. Uh, no, Nick Azema says, trust, list trust for me. Um, Hector's house says, no green levies. Yes, the green taxes, that should be sorted. I mean, at least list trust is still running on a platform of going against the net zero. So <laughs> that's good, right? But not fully against it. So <laughs> it's not fully against uh, There are no candidates who are going to be destroying the net zero agenda. It's not really good. But we can probably force list trust as a leader to be more conservative, I guess, out of the three of them. Um, let's see. Uh, we have a comment saying, Steve Baker is a coward as ever, because Steve Baker came out of, obviously with uh, Suella and ERG to back Liz Truss instead of Kemi. Um, I think, I guess that probably the, the old school MPs didn't want to take a risk uh, with the Kemi being uh, the outsider and a kind of relatively younger MP. Um, but that's not a good excuse, is it? I think we needed a bit of a shake-up. We needed a revolution, a British revolution. Um, but if Suella can't do it, if Kemi can't do it, then we have no option. We're going to have to basically, well, put our faith in list trust. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, Cat Earth says, I think Kemi could be great in the future. I absolutely agree. I mean, this is not the end of the story for Kemi Badenoch, by the way. Uh, what's happening now? I can literally see a bright future. Uh, someone that could actually save the Conservative Party. Because uh, right now, it's not savable. <laughs> right now, there's no hope. But uh, Kemi and people like her, if they could be patient and stay and fight inside, then we're going to see. Uh, the situation is so bad in the country that Frankie is saying we need an English parliament. Uh, the problem is that you're still going to get all the lefties controlling it, so <laughs> it's not really going to solve, solve anything, whether you're going to have a British parliament or an English parliament. Uh, the, the, the whole issue is uh, not necessarily the, the national identity of our political system, is the people who are paid, essentially, and controlled to do it. Uh, the globalist elite are still running the agenda, so uh, it's not really a kind of conspiracy thing, it's just a, the narrative of uh, the, the globalist agenda is that already happening anyway. You have to go with that and that is sad and we have to fight back and that's why i do this channel thanks to you guys right um i might go quickly i'm gonna go again uh, parliament is that way and downing street i'm gonna go and uh, see if i can get any more updates for you guys and uh, keep you guys up to date because uh it's not been a, <laughs> it's not been an easy day so um but all is not lost yet there is a bit of a hope uh, we'll see if um Suella and kemi could turn um, let's trust into a conservative. We'll see how it goes. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like the glasses. As I said, I was literally just, I was in a house um, watching TV and doing stuff. Well, I, I took, had the glasses on. Usually I take them off when I leave the house. So I left the house, I forgot that I still have them on. So live stream with a bit of my glasses. Thank you so much, guys. Subscribe to the channel, share this video. We're going to come to you guys every day throughout the whole day with live streams and all the short updates to keep you guys up to date with everything, not just the Tory elections, but everything else, all the news stories that the mainstream media are ignoring. Subscribe to the channel. I'm my TCN, we are the media.